Hey everyone, welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. My name is Kevin, and uh, finally we're out of these 90 degree days. It's super nice out here, so we got the weekend. We're going to try to knock out some projects. Uh, we got a really busy day today, so we don't have time to be in the kitchen all day. So we're going to fire up this Camp Chef pellet smoker, and we're going to cook some uh, bologna. So the reason we're doing uh, this little video over the bologna, anybody that knows anything about bologna knows how to cook it. There's a ton of different ways. But on one of our last videos that was showcasing this pellet smoker, uh, we smoked a five pound bologna. <clears throat> and so many of our subscribers that are not in this area had no idea about the bologna, never tried it, never cooked it. And so I'm gonna show you guys here. This is someone picked up at our local store. Uh, these are some smaller sticks of bologna. Um, we normally do the five pound sticks. I think these are just 16 ounce sticks. But, you know, these are, they're awesome. They're already pre-cooked. So basically all you're doing is sticking them in the smoker and getting them flavored and getting them warmed up pretty much. But we got it set at 225. We'll probably let them cook for maybe an hour and a half to two hours and uh, eat it. You can eat it on sandwiches, barbecue sauce. You know, you can eat it however you want. It's, it's, a, it's an awesome cheap cut of meat. These are super cheap, by the way. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people eat them cold just like a deli meat right out of the fridge slice it crackers and cheese stuff like that so for those of you that are not familiar with the bologna stay tuned everybody stay tuned actually but you guys gotta try this i don't know if it's just a southern thing or if the northern northern and eastern or western states don't have a bologna i don't know it's just so many people is commenting on the bologna that had no idea what it was and telling us that they never tried it all right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this get to temperature. I'm gonna fill this up with some uh, applewood pellets and then we'll get in the house and I'll show you guys how we prepare our bologna sticks. All right guys, so we're back in the kitchen, but first let me talk about something that one of our awesome subscribers sent us. He sent us a note and in the package it had a jar of peppers. This is from Rob Thompson. He's been with us a long time. And these are a little different. These are pickled peppers, but they're not super spicy. They're yellow wax, hot peppers, olive oil, and uh, some other stuff in there, seasoning. And these are awesome. We already opened them. We couldn't wait for this video. We already opened them, ate some of dinner last night. But thank you, Rob, so much for sending us that. They're very good. And uh, it's nice to eat some peppers that ain't hot for a change. Usually we just uh, pickle like really hot peppers. But anyways guys, so we got this bologna here <clears throat> and we're gonna do two different ways. There's no secret on cooking bologna. There's so many ways to cook it. We're gonna do one with a normal rub and we're gonna do one hot with some of our dehydrated ground up jalapeno flakes and some uh, dehydrated ground up sugar rush pepper flakes. These are a little spicier than the jalapeno. Uh, the jalapeno has good flavor, but sometimes it can be a little overpowerful, so we're going to mix it up. And we're also going to try to stuff a few of these sugar rush pepper. I'm going to cut them up and try to stuff them into these, one of these bologna logs. Uh, just to add a little more spicy flavor. But first, let's do the original one. That's not going to be spicy. You're just going to kind of coat it with some uh, mustard. And that kind of helps hold that rub on. You don't have to put a whole bunch on there and you will not even taste this. Uh, you won't even taste the mustard after it cooks. So use as much as you want. The more it kind of holds on the, the rub. You don't want to put too much or your rub will be kind of uh, like, it'll get kind of crusty like. So don't put too much. Just put a little bit on there to hold it on. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right guys, so in this little bowl here, I got a mix of the rub. You can pick up any kind of rub at your local grocery store. Most of them carry it in the spice uh, aisle. And uh, here we just got one of our own that's just kind of mixed up with all kinds of different things. Paprika, pepper, onion, garlic salt, onion powder, stuff like that. There might be a little brown sugar in here as well. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of start coating this one. This is the one that's not going to be hot. And you know, you don't have to, like, you don't have to be fully covered, but there, there will probably work. And this just kind of puts a little bark on it as it cooks. 
All right, so that's our regular one. Now to this rub here, I'm going to add some of this jalapeno flakes. And some of the sugar rush peach pepper flakes. And we grow all those peppers here in our garden and uh, we dehydrate them, put them in a blender, and make our own pepper flakes. Alright, so let me get this kind of mixed up here. Don't be rubbing your eyes, don't forget that. And we're just gonna do the same thing. And we're not in no competition or anything like that, so we just do this, you know, we just kind of smoke bologna and all kinds of meat here and there when we're working out on the farm because it's something easy to do and you don't have to be there to babysit it all the time, especially with these new digital pellet smokers. Alright, so now I'm going to get this sugar rush peach pepper cut up, kind of small. And we're going to slit this bologna a little bit. And we're gonna stuff this pepper down in there and hopefully it will flavor it with some hotness and the sweetness of this pepper. These sugar rush peach peppers are hotter than the jalapeno but they also have a pretty good sweet flavor to them. They have more sugar in them I think. And that's pretty much all we're gonna do with the pepper, stuff them guys down in there like that. And uh, let's let's go see, uh, let's take them outside. Uh, I told you guys earlier you can cook the bologna at 225. We're gonna go ahead and adjust it down to 200 and we're probably gonna leave it in there two hours. So we'll look at it at two hours. Like I said, guys, you don't have to get this to a certain temperature. Uh, it's already fully cooked. If you read on the package, I don't know if all bolognese are always fully cooked, so read on the package as you buy it. Uh, I did verify on this one and it did say they were fully cooked. So we're just gonna get it up, you know, we're gonna put the smoker at 200 degrees and for two hours and see what temperature it gets to. It doesn't really matter. It'll be warm and ready to eat. So let's go throw this on the smoker. All right guys, so when you're putting the one that you have it kind of stuffed, you just wanna put it with the slit side up so all your goodies don't fall out of there. And your other one, it don't really matter too much. And we're just gonna stick them in there and let them go for about two hours at 200 degrees. And uh, we'll check them here in about two hours and see what they look like. Okay guys, so it's been two hours. We're gonna open this up and take a look at the bony. Oh yeah, you see this nice dark color on here? That's what we're looking for. And we got, you can see on this piece of slit here on the slit bologna, you can see that smoke ring that it's got there. So that, that's gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. Come on this tray here. And you can go longer if you want. Uh, this is about how we like ours. So let's take it in the house and we'll get it cut up and see how it looks. All right guys, so this is what bologna sticks look like after they've been on the smoker for two hours at 200 degrees. And uh, let me cut into the one that is not, that does not have the peppers on it and uh, see how this looks. The kids are hollering, they're hungry, so they're gonna be willing to try this out here pretty quick. That's what a nice smoked bologna looks like. Let me cut it and I will try a piece of it. So you can see it, it's got a nice little crust on there from all the rub. It gets a little more dark. That's good. Um, a, a lot of ways people like to eat it. Uh, there's several different ways people like to eat it. Uh, we like to eat it on sandwiches with barbecue sauce. Um, some of the kids like to dip it in ketchup. There's that one. Now let's try the spicy one. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, let's try this one and get some of those peppers in there. That's 
That's got an awesome pepper flavor. I can taste the jalapeno and the sugar rush peppers. It's got a nice little kick to it. So anyways guys, excuse me for eating on camera, but I had to try it out. So for all the subscribers or the viewers that has never tried bologna, I ask you guys please give it a shot. You guys will love it. You don't know what you're missing out on. It's super simple to cook. It's a cheap piece of meat you can buy. Uh, we won't go into what's all included in bologna. I'll let you guys do the research. Uh, some people get grossed out by it, but there's all kinds of bologna. There's uh, garlic bologna. A lot of people like garlic bologna. This is just a plain, simple, classic bologna. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If anyone has any questions about cooking bologna or smoking bologna or whatever, uh, send us an email. Our email is down in the description below. If you're not subscribed, I ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up and we'll see you next time.